Hey, it's Miss C, and I am trying to adjust <laughs> to this new world. I miss y'all, miss some people, New Orleanians. We're used to being around each other and celebrating life and death and everything in between together. Uh, we're bordered by water and we're a tight-knit community. I talk about sense of place in the neighborhood. And there's nowhere else like us in the world. But we have to do what we have to do. Uh, and I know it's hard. So I'm flipping the script because, right, I got to do something. Your assignment is... To make something for someone. It could be a meal, a video, a song, a dance, a poem, art, a card, a sign in the window. Just make, create something. And, um, I'm going to keep putting up lectures that we were going to do, but I want, I'm going to give you a week to make something for someone else, whatever it is. And, um, then you're going to write to me about it. On top of that, you're going to do something for yourself. Something that's good, that's healthy. Maybe it's something that normally somebody else would do. Um, if you can't cut your own hair, don't. Okay? Uh, do something for yourself that's positive and good. And maybe you didn't have time for it before. Or whatever it is. Only you can decide. Um, so, I want to read you something. And it's um, a writing from a few years ago, but I think it kind of maybe we need it right now. And um, I find it's cyclical where it comes back and that I need it every once in a while again. Tomorrow will be a better day. I'm 16. The other night, while I was busy thinking about important social issues like what to do over the weekend and who to do it with, I overheard my parents talking about my future. My dad was upset. Not the usual stuff that he and mom and I guess a lot of parents worry about, like which college I'm going to, how far away it is from home, and how much it's going to cost. Instead, he was upset about the world his generation is turning over to mine, a world he fears has a dark and difficult future, if it has a future at all. He sounded like this. There will be a pandemic that kills millions, a devastating energy crisis, a horrible worldwide depression, and nuclear explosions set off in anger. As I lay on the living room couch, eavesdropping on their conversation, starting to worry about my future, my father was describing, I found myself looking at some old family photos. There was a picture of my grandfather in his Citadel uniform. He was a member of the class of 1942, the war class. Next to his picture were photos of my great-grandparents, Ellis Island immigrants. Seeing those pictures made me feel a lot better. I believe tomorrow will be better than today, that the world my generation grows into is going to get better, not worse. Those pictures under, help me understand why. I considered some of the awful things my grandparents and great-grandparents had seen in their lifetimes. Two world wars, killer flu, segregation, a nuclear bomb. But they saw other things too, better things. The end of two world wars, the polio vaccine, the passage of civil rights laws. They even saw the Red Sox win the World Series twice. 
I believe that my generation will see better things too. That we will witness a time when AIDS is cured and cancer is defeated. The Middle East will find peace and Africa grain. And the Cubs win the World Series probably only once. I will see things as inconceivable to me today as the moonshot was to my grandfather when he was 16 or the internet to my father when he was 16 ever since when I was a little kid. Whenever I've had a lousy day, my dad would put his arm around me and promise me that tomorrow will be a better day. I challenged my father once, how do you know that? He said, I just do. I believed him. My great-grandparents believed that, and my grandparents, and so did I. As I listened to my dad talking that night, so worried about what the future holds for me and my generation, I wanted to put my arm around him and tell him what he always told me. Don't worry, Dad. Tomorrow will be a better day. This, I believe. Thanks, guys.